Welcome back to our channel where we explore the highs and lows of relationships. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that's often difficult to confront, but essential for maintaining healthy marriages. The signs that your marriage may be headed for divorce. It's important to recognize these signs early on so that you can take the necessary steps to address them and potentially save your relationship. So let's dive in. The first sign is a lack of gratitude. In a healthy marriage, expressing gratitude is not only a simple act of kindness, but also a powerful way to nurture the bond between partners. It's about recognizing and appreciating the efforts and qualities that your spouse brings to the relationship. When gratitude fades away, it leaves room for resentment to take its place. For example, instead of thanking your spouse for completing a household chore, you might begin taking it for granted, assuming it's their responsibility. Over time, this lack of appreciation can create a growing distance between partners. To counteract this, make it a habit to express gratitude regularly. Take a moment to acknowledge and genuinely thank your partner for the small and big things they do for you and the family. For instance, when my wife used to prepare dinner for us every evening, I started to take it for granted. I never expressed my appreciation, assuming it was her duty as a wife. Slowly, I noticed a shift in our dynamic. She seemed distant and unappreciated. It was then that I realized the importance of gratitude. I started to genuinely thank her for her efforts in the kitchen, not just for the delicious meals she prepared, but for the time and care she put into them. The difference was remarkable. Not only did it reignite the spark in our relationship, but it also motivated her to put in more effort because she felt valued. So remember to express your gratitude whether it's for the daily acts of kindness or the overall love and support your partner provides. The second sign is a lack of respect. Respect forms the foundation of a healthy relationship, and when it diminishes, it can lead to irreparable damage. Disrespectful behaviors such as name-calling, belittling, or dismissing your partner's opinions can erode trust and emotional connection. Instead, Make an effort to treat your partner with kindness and empathy. Engage in active listening, validate their feelings and experiences, and create an environment where both partners feel heard and respected. I remember a time when my wife and I would argue, and during heated moments we would say hurtful things to each other without considering the impact of our words. It reached a point where we felt like adversaries rather than partners. It was only when we made a conscious effort to respect each other's perspectives, even during disagreements, that we began to rebuild trust and connection. We learned to listen without interrupting, to acknowledge each other's feelings, and to express our disagreements with respect and understanding. Respect is not only about how we speak to our partners, but also about how we treat them. It's important to value their opinions, boundaries, and individuality. By fostering an environment of mutual respect, we can create a strong and healthy foundation for our marriage. The third sign is a lack of effort. Relationships require consistent effort from both partners. When one or both individuals stop investing time and energy, the relationship can suffer. Neglecting your partner's emotional needs, not prioritizing quality time together, or failing to contribute to the household responsibilities are all signs of dwindling effort. To combat this, make a conscious effort to show up for your partner. Plan date nights, engage in meaningful conversations, and actively participate in the tasks that keep your household running smoothly. There was a phase in our marriage when we got caught up in our busy lives and our relationship took a back seat. We became more like roommates than romantic partners. We realized that we had stopped making each other a priority. To reconnect, we started setting aside dedicated time for each other. We would plan regular date nights where we would go out or have a cozy evening at home, just the two of us. We also began taking on shared responsibilities and collaborating more in managing our household. These small efforts made a significant difference in rekindling our connection. It's essential to remember that effort is not just about quantity, it's about quality. Be present and fully engaged in your interactions. Show your partner that they matter and that you value the relationship. The fourth sign is when no one takes accountability. In a healthy marriage, both partners should take responsibility for their actions and be willing to apologize and make amends. However, when blame shifting becomes the norm, conflicts remain unresolved and resentments build up. 
Taking accountability means recognizing your mistakes and working towards solutions, rather than placing blame. Open communication and a willingness to acknowledge and address your own shortcomings are essential. In our relationship, we used to have a habit of deflecting blame when conflicts arose. We would get stuck in a cycle of pointing fingers, never truly resolving the underlying issues. It took some reflection and self-awareness to realize that we needed to take accountability for our actions. We started to have open and honest conversations about our own contributions to the problems we faced. It wasn't always easy, but it allowed us to find constructive solutions and grow individually and as a couple. Taking accountability requires humility and self-reflection. It's about acknowledging your mistakes and being willing to make amends. By fostering a culture of accountability in your marriage, you create a safe space for open communication, growth, and healing. The fifth sign is perhaps the most devastating one, infidelity. Infidelity shatters trust, leading to deep emotional trauma. It's often seen as the ultimate deal-breaker in marriages. If you or your partner has engaged in infidelity, it's crucial to seek professional help, such as couples therapy or counseling. Rebuilding trust takes time, effort, and a commitment to transparency and open communication. Infidelity is a painful and complex issue that requires professional guidance to navigate. In our journey, we faced the aftermath of infidelity. It was a challenging period of broken trust and intense emotions. However, we chose to seek help through couples therapy, and it made a world of difference. Our therapist provided a safe space for us to express our emotions, understand the underlying causes, and work towards rebuilding trust. With time, patience, and a shared commitment to healing, we managed to rebuild our relationship stronger than ever. If you find yourself dealing with the aftermath of infidelity, it's important to remember that healing takes time. Seek professional help to navigate through the complex emotions and to create a path towards forgiveness and rebuilding trust. It's essential to have open and honest conversations with your partner, allowing them to express their feelings and concerns while working towards rebuilding the foundation of your relationship. The sixth sign is the communication gap. Communication is the lifeline of any relationship. When couples struggle to communicate effectively, misunderstandings, arguments, and emotional distance become commonplace. It's vital to identify and address communication barriers promptly. Practice active listening, use I statements to express your feelings and be open to compromise. Seek out resources like books or workshops to improve your communication skills as a couple. In our early years of marriage, my spouse and I often found ourselves in heated arguments that escalated due to a breakdown in communication. We realized that our communication styles were vastly different, and without understanding and adapting to each other's needs, we were constantly at odds. Seeking help, we attended communication workshops and learned effective techniques to foster better understanding. We discovered the power of active listening, where we fully engaged with each other's words and validated our feelings. We also adopted the use of I statements to express our concerns without blaming or attacking each other. Through these efforts, we began to bridge the communication gap and create a more harmonious and supportive environment. The seventh sign is when it's all fights and no love. Constant conflicts without the presence of love and affection can signal trouble in a marriage. When negativity overshadows positivity, it can become challenging to rekindle the love between partners. Make an effort to find balance and create a nurturing environment where love can flourish. Seek out shared activities, express affection, and practice forgiveness. There was a time when our marriage felt like an endless cycle of arguments and disagreements. Love seemed distant, overshadowed by negativity. We realized that we needed to break free from this pattern and restore the love and affection that initially brought us together. We made a conscious effort to find moments of joy and connection amidst the conflicts. We prioritized shared activities that we both enjoyed, whether it was going for walks, cooking together, or simply snuggling up on the couch to watch our favorite shows. Expressing affection and practicing forgiveness became integral parts of our daily interactions. By consciously nurturing our love, even during challenging times, we rekindled the spark that had once been lost. The eighth sign is having persistent thoughts of infidelity. 
Fantasies or desires for someone outside of your marriage can indicate deeper dissatisfaction or emotional disconnection. It's crucial to address these thoughts openly and honestly with your partner. Engage in open dialogue to understand the root causes and work towards re-establishing emotional intimacy. At one point in our marriage, we experienced a period where thoughts of infidelity entered our minds. We felt guilty and confused, wondering why these thoughts were occurring. Instead of burying them, we decided to have an open conversation about our feelings and concerns. We discovered that these thoughts were not necessarily indicative of a desire to cheat, but rather a symptom of underlying issues that needed to be addressed. By delving into these thoughts and emotions together, we unearthed deeper dissatisfaction and emotional disconnection that we were unaware of. This realization led us to recommit ourselves to rebuilding emotional intimacy, reigniting the passion in our relationship, and creating a safe space for vulnerability and honesty. The ninth sign is an alarming one, physical abuse. Physical abuse should never be tolerated in any relationship. If you or your partner experiences physical abuse, prioritize your safety above all else. Seek help from a professional, a trusted friend, or a helpline specifically dedicated to domestic violence. Remember, no one deserves to endure physical harm. Physical abuse is an absolute red flag that should never be ignored or tolerated in a marriage or any relationship. If you find yourself or your partner experiencing physical abuse, it's crucial to prioritize your safety above all else. Reach out to a professional counselor, therapist, or domestic violence helpline for immediate support and guidance. You don't have to face this alone, and there are resources available to help you through this challenging time. Remember, your well-being should always be the top priority. The tenth sign is a lack of sexual attraction. While the frequency of sexual intimacy varies among couples, a prolonged absence of desire can indicate deeper issues within the relationship. Physical intimacy is an essential aspect of a healthy marriage. If you're experiencing a lack of sexual attraction, consider seeking professional help such as sex therapy or couples counseling. Addressing the underlying causes can reignite the spark in your relationship. Physical intimacy plays a significant role in a healthy marriage, but it can be affected by various factors. If you and your partner are experiencing a lack of sexual attraction, it's essential to approach this issue with empathy, understanding, and open communication. Start by having an honest conversation about your desires, needs, and concerns. Explore the potential underlying causes such as stress, hormonal changes, or emotional disconnection, and consider seeking professional help if necessary. Sex therapy or couples counseling can provide valuable guidance in addressing these challenges and reigniting the passion and intimacy in your relationship. The eleventh sign is the inability to think as us. In a strong marriage, partners think as a team, prioritizing shared goals and working towards them together. However, when individualism overtakes the sense of unity, it can create distance and tension. To foster a stronger sense of togetherness, make an effort to align your visions, find common interests, and support each other's aspirations. When we lose sight of the us in our marriage and prioritize our individual desires and goals, it can create a sense of disconnection. It's important to periodically revisit and realign our visions as a couple. Find shared goals and dreams that you can work towards together. Discover common interests that allow you to spend quality time and create new memories. Support each other's aspirations and provide a safe space for individual growth within the context of the relationship. By fostering a sense of togetherness and shared purpose, you can strengthen the foundation of your marriage. Remember, recognizing these signs is the first step towards healing and rebuilding your marriage. It's never too late to seek professional help, whether through couples therapy, counseling, or other resources available in your area. By addressing these signs early on and taking proactive steps to address the underlying issues, you can increase the chances of saving your relationship and fostering a happier, healthier marriage. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the 11 signs your marriage may be headed for divorce. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and sharing it with others who may benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more relationship insights and advice. Remember, relationships require continuous effort and open communication. With dedication and the right support, 
you can navigate through the challenges and build a strong, fulfilling marriage. We wish you all the best on your journey. Until next time.